knock it off. Welcome to Oakmont University Library. Joy Hayden, can I help? Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. I need to see- Sure, over there. Um, that's it. No? Lo well, that's music. This city doesn't look- Mr. Throg- Really? He says, can't imagine li- I apologize for my bl mouth. Yeah. Punishment. Again, sorry for me. Legal in Oakmont. <laughs> Bye, Joy. Judging by the layer of dust on it, this ring hasn't been worn in a long time. So why keep it around? loved you. A lot of fancy dresses locked away in a dark corner for a long time. I'm starting to smell some deep family trauma here.
This Cavendish guy did an impressive... Investigation, and the EOD is in the center of all of it. Never understand our cause! My child is blessed by the sea! I'm leaving you, George! George, I can't live like this anymore. There's something I have to tell you. I don't care what your damn EOD cult demands, Anna! I thought the child was mine! <laughs> mine! <laughs> okay, let's see what we have here. I don't care what you're dead. George, I can't live like this anymore. You will never understand our cause. My child is blessed by the sea. I'm leaving you, George. George, I can't live like this anymore. There's something I have to tell you. I don't care what your damn EOD cult demands, Anna! I thought the child was mine. You will never understand our cause! My child is blessed by the sea! I'm leaving you, George! George Cavendish. He had a wife named Anna. She had a baby that was not his, but blessed by the sea and claimed by the EOD. This caused their split. you well what are you doing here calm down my name's Charles Reed I'm a private investigator right now you look like someone who's breaking into my house a, a, a burglar I explain yourself Easy there. Anna from the fish market asked me to find you. You know her, right? I should have guessed. I know her much better than you think. What does she want from me now? She already took everything I have. It's not about what she wants. It's about what you did. Poisoning the fish. Sound familiar? Yeah, I can prove you did it. Hold on! Before you jump to conclusions, I want you to know that I had a good reason to do what I did. It all comes back to Anna.
What's Anna got to do with all this? As you might have already gleaned, she is... was... my wife. Uh-huh. Yeah, it all starts to come together now. The EOD robbed me of her. It all started with the free fish. We were all short on food at the time, and then they hooked her with their nonsense about the benevolent sea and greater good. I looked past it for some time, but then... She became pregnant. Yes. At first, I was over the moon. But then one day she came to me, that snake, and told me that the child was not mine. She said it was blessed by the sea. That it was demanded by the EOD. Doom take them! I couldn't stand it. I just couldn't. Oh, this should be fun. What's your good reason for poisoning innocent people? You know the EOD are feeding the hungry, don't you? No. Oh, that's exactly the problem. They're not doing it out of charity. They do it to spread their influence and recruit new members. Some of those initiates, as they call them, vanish without a trace. And not just them. They kidnap ordinary folks, too. And poisoning the fish would prevent this how? Oh, you see, not everyone in this city believes in the EOD yet. They have opposition among the citizens, both rich and poor. A rumor of the EOD's fish being poisonous and several incidents would be enough to undermine the EOD by sparking fear and mistrust. There must be another way to deal with the EOD. Like, if their crimes are that obvious, why don't you just go to the police? <sighs> They're resourceful, those sons of hagfish. They maintain a squeaky clean image, and Kay, they're good at it. I tried going to the police. They were no help at all. And I'm not suicidal enough to make it public and take them to court. So what's your next move? I was interrupted and couldn't finish my task. The EOD received a fresh haul of fish, but now they're on alert and raised their guard. I understand I'm in no position to ask. But after reviewing all the facts I've presented to you, Mr. Reed, would you agree to help me? Keep talking. Now what is it you want from me? Poison the rest of the fish. It's spreading, but it's not enough. The EOD trusts you enough to deal with me, so it should be simple for you. My agent inside the EOD reports that they've just received a fresh haul. That's your target. You're a madman, Cavendish. You're willing to let innocent people suffer and die just to get revenge on your ex-wife. No, this madness has to stop. And I'm going to put an end to it right now. Oh, no, no. You, you don't understand. Ah!
Take it off. What's your problem? Fish? Fresh fish? Take as much as you need. It won't cost you a penny. I found the poisoner and dealt with him. He... <sighs> see, bless... Well, see, now that's the interesting... Oh. <laughs> well, still, it's strange. I never thought... He... All right. No more messing around. Get me in touch with your grand poobah or whoever's in charge, now. Easy there, Charlie. I'm a woman of my word. Go to the basement of the fish market. It's nearby. You'll find an inn smouther there by the name of Maurice. Tell him I've sent you. You'll get your answers. <sighs> About time.
Oh, this used to be an okay place to live. Hey, Mr. Ree. Do I know you, buddy? Not yet, but I know you. I also know you're looking for... You're looking for Professor Lowe. Ain't that right? The scientist are order kidnapped. I think we can help each other. How do you mean? You know where she is? Slow down, buddy. Helping each other is not the same as let me just tell you everything. <sighs> Nothing's for free in this city, is it? Figures. All right. Shoot. You won't regret it. You've seen some of this city now, am I right? You in England was coming? I want out of the Order and the city before it hits. Trouble is, it's much easier to get into the Order than to leave. Give the slightest hint of it. You've signed your death warrant. I need somebody to get me out of the city on the quiet. And that's not an easy thing these days, my friend. <sighs> I've no idea how to help you with that. Ain't you a detective? There are people in the city, smugglers, who know what to do. Find them. That's how you can help. See, 
I've heard whispers about ads in the newspaper, a new ad every week, talking about Salvation Harbor. Maybe start there. All right, fine. I'll look into it. But your lead on the professor had better be worth it. I know where they've got her. I can get you there. You just find me a way out fast, or I might be too dead to be any use to you.
I know who is behind Professor Doe's kidnapping. It's an organization. Most of them stick to the fish market, but they seem to have- I knew there was something fishy about the EOD. The den of those filthy innsmouthers. Actually, most of the EOD members I met were locals. And for what it's worth, the only Innsmouther I spoke to was a nice guy. You ought to examine your prejudices. Are you calling me a bigot, Reed? Robert, listen. Something needs to change. You holding a grudge against Innsmouthers ain't making anything better for anyone. Those who fan the flames of hatred always end up burnt in the end. They killed my son for Kay's sake! I know. But what did you do to prevent it? You made yourself their enemy instead of helping them. What did you expect would happen? You chose to brand them newcomers and leave them to suffer just like you did with me. The only difference is that I'm useful to you. No wonder desperate Innsmouthers would seek refuge from a radical organization like the EOD. They had nowhere else to turn. I... shall think about what you've said. <sighs> Back to business. I'll continue my search for Professor Doe. I have a promising lead. You have anything else to tell me? Your task remains the same. Find Harriet and bring her back. You say we are dealing with an entire organization? Well, I have something for you that might help our cause should things take it now leave. <laughs>